Machines A and B always operate independently and at their respective constant rates. When working alone, machine A can fill a production lot in 5 hours. And machine B can fill the same lot in X hours. When the two machines operate simultaneously to fill the production lot, it takes them 2 hours to complete the job. What is the value of X? We're going to take a look at um, a visual solution to this problem and I'm going to start with these two numbers that I have 5 and 2. Machine A working alone takes 5 hours to do the job. Machine A and B working together take 2 hours to do the job. So I'm going to start with a 2 by 5 rectangle to represent the entire lot and we're going to explain why it's a good choice. So let's move on. I'm going to erase these highlights. Okay, the reason a rectangle, a 2 by 5 rectangle is a good choice to represent my production lot is this. Let, let me change the color of my, uh, thickness of my marker. According to the question, machine A takes 5 hours to do the job. It takes machine A 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours. So I'm not dealing with parts of squares. I can see the holes or whole of the parts. It's a little, it's convenient that way. Now, machine A and B, when they're working together, they together take two hours. So together, they're going to do this much in one hour, this much in two hours. Now, let's move on to the next slide. I'm going to erase all this. Based on our previous conclusion, we can say this is how much machine A does on its own in one hour. And this is how much the two machines do when they work together in one hour. It's kind of, we are talking about rate, it's kind of nice to know what they do in one hour. Both in both scenarios, whether it's A all by itself or A and B working together. So let's go over it once again. From our basic understanding of how things work in nature, if it takes machine A to finish the whole thing in five hours, in one hour machine A must be doing this much. And when the two are working together, it takes it, it takes about two hours to do the job. So when they are working together, it'll take them one hour to do this much. Now, based on, I'm going to erase the red highlights again. Okay, based on these two, I can draw a major conclusion. Take a look at, look at this. Now, machine A does this much in one hour. A alone. Okay. Now, machine A and B, when they work together, they do this much in one hour. So obviously, this is what B does in one hour, all by itself. So this is what they do together. This is what A does. B must be doing this much. Otherwise, they wouldn't get the job done. So we're going to go to the next slide. I'm going to erase all the, all the colors. OK, so from the previous slide, we drew this conclusion that machine A, uh, sorry, machine B does three squares in one hour. Let me change the color of my marker and th its thickness. OK, so machine B does this much in one hour. It'll do this much in two hours. It'll do this much in three hours and there will be some leftover. So it certainly will take machine B at least three hours, but a little more. Um, this is really machine B. If machine B takes one hour to do three squares, it'll take one third of an hour to do one square. Let's erase all this and go over it once again. Okay, this is what they do. This is what machine A does, excuse me. 
This is what machine B does in one hour. I'm going to write it takes it takes machine B to do this much in one hour. Another one hour. It'll do this much. In another one hour, it'll do this much. Now, in a third of an hour or 20 minutes, however you want to say it, it'll do this much. Now, the reason it's also 20 minutes, because if, if machine B takes 60 minutes to do three squares, it'll do 20, it'll take 20 minutes to do one square, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 60 minutes. So this is really same as 60 divided by 3, 60 minutes divided by 3 is equal to 20 minutes. Just going to write MIN here. I don't have a lot of room. So my final answer is three hours and one-third of an hour or three hours and 20 minutes. This is my final answer. will take machine B three hours and 20 minutes to do the entire job all by itself.